Hello YouTube, welcome from my stoop again, first video in 2016 and may you all have a blessed and wonderful new year. It is quite hot today here in Pumalanga. They say it will reach around about uh, 36, 37, 38 degrees Celsius. But uh, luckily I've got a swimming pool, so I will be swimming every now and then today. Um, I received some, uh, some tobacco today. Uh, I ordered myself one of these Mississippi Seattle Pipe Club. Uh, I made a review of, of this one after someone sent it to me. It was very nice, so I tried that one out. And I got uh, GLP's Kairu or Cairo. Uh, yeah, so I've got some, uh, received some, some stock for 2016. But uh, what I wanted to talk uh, about today is, uh, apart from from just to greet you and to give you know uh, for the uh, greetings for the new year, um, JC Lemaire asked me on one of the comments of uh, the videos, which would be a good crossover tobacco. Um, Now that um, is not necessarily an easy question because um, there probably will be a lot of, of, uh, of opinion ab about it, but I think it seems to me as if a, cross, a good crossover would be any tobacco with Latakia, a typical English blend with other words Latakia uh, and Virginia, uh, and maybe even Oriental Turkish, um, but with Burley also inside. Uh, because that breaks down the harsh, not to me harsh, but for some people the harsh smokiness. Um, and if, if I must, uh, if I must consider what I have tasted over the year or so, I would say other possible crossover tobaccos might be GLP's Caravan, also a very nice uh, tobacco. It's got uh, a, a little bit burly in, I think. Uh, let me just make sure. Um, caravan, 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 where is it? Mm. Caravan's got uh, Burley also with the Latakia, uh, Virginia and, and the Orientals. And then of course uh, I think Mississippi River itself might be also a good crossover. Um, either Virginia Rich Virginia pressed tobacco spiced with oriental leaf latakia and perique. Uh, although perique is not not normally uh, seen as a as a crossover tobacco, but but that one was uh, I remember when I reviewed it, I thought that could be a a, a, a possible crossover. And then. Other possible crossover tobaccos from aromatics to, by the way, yeah, that's what a crossover is called. Uh, normally is when someone want, uh, most tobacco smoke, most pipe smokers starts off with aromatics. I don't know why I think, I think the tobacconist probably sell that, you know, sell, sell tobacco aromatics uh, to new pipe smokers or uh, in South Africa at least I know 
probably 90% of new pipe smokers smoke cherry um, or cumber of cherry or something like that. But uh, yeah, so a good crossover is a tobacco from your aromatics, which is obviously a very nice smelling and tasting tobacco for a new pipe smoker to the English blend uh, or a Balkan blend or even a vapor. Now, an English blend uh, comes from the, in the old days, English didn't really stand for Latakia and Orientals and things. It was just a name for any tobacco with no additives, because according to the laws uh, way back in England, uh, they were not allowed to put in additives uh, and aromatics and things into their tobacco. So an English blend would then be just pure tobacco. Uh, over the years, it it uh, were more and more associated with uh, any tobacco blend with Latakia uh, as the main component and, and Virginia as the second component. And they might also add uh, some more um, uh, Orientals and, and Turkish. While a Balkan blend, and, and again, between English and Balkan is very, the line is very f vague. Uh, because a Balkan would be pr primarily Turkish Oriental with Latakia, but you know they're so close; th these two are so close that it's difficult to really say uh, which is really a Balkan and which is Eng English. Um, personally, I throw them together. To me, it's English slash Balkan. Anyway, so a good crossover is what would someone that would like to start moving away from from aromatics. Uh, to English, what would they would they prefer or like? Um, now, as I said, maybe anything with Burley inside, or even with Cavendish with a Scottish blend. A Scottish blend has got some Cavendish in, which is a little bit sweeter, and maybe that sweetness might also be classified as a as a cross as a way of a crossover. Um, and then someone told me about his crossover tobacco being a London, a, a Dublin, uh, Peterson Dublin, Old Dublin. That I don't understand uh, because it is a very, there's a very distinctive uh, taste in the, in the Old Dublin because of the Zanzir, I think I, I pronounce it correctly, but because of that extra component that's in Old Dublin. Um, but yeah, maybe that is a, a not a bad crossover because it's not necessarily very uh, strong on the Latakia side of, of, uh, of an English blend. So yeah, I think um, you know, to, to give someone maybe some advice, I would say look, look, at, any, uh, look at anything that's got a little bit of burly in. Pirate cake has got burly in, but um, Pirate cake, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say is necessarily a crossover because also it's a very distinctive and a, a earthy, strong earthy, uh, of earthy taste and flavour. But I would say then Mississippi Caravan, um, anything that's got some burley, which just brings up that more nuttiness uh, in the tobacco or even the Cavendish. So yeah, um, that's from from my side then, friends and uh, community. Thank you for watching and. Uh, I hope uh, we will enjoy 2016 as much as 2015 on the pipe and tobacco side. Um, please go and check out my my website because I'm going to add in the next 10 or 15 minutes a poll uh, to see what was all the pipe community, uh, their preferences in terms of, of, uh, of the best tobaccos for 2015. Uh, and then we can, I'll do a next video on the 10 best tobaccos according to all the uh, community members uh, for 2015. So thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and uh, yeah, visit my website and uh, enjoy your, your uh, 2016 and your piping. So thank you. Bye bye.